on the sofa Proud of North London, gotta represent And I'ma tell you one thing Watching games live always brings me closer But I would rather watch at home on my sofa Yeah, yeah, chance is the name Football is the game Gooners all day, you know that it won't change So stay tuned in, cause the party's never over Get it hype, this is Gooner on the sofa Gooner on the sofa, let's go Now, so as I said, let me take this off. We're talking about the beautiful Gunnarette, Alex Scott. She decided that she was going to take a stand. Yeah, she decided that she was going to take a stand against this madness. Yeah, that's what she said. Whoops, sorry about that. She said she was going to go and do her thug thizzle, and that's what she did. Yeah, I mean, you can see the pictures up now. She wore the rainbow um what's name the rainbow captain ban i think it was meant to be the captain ban so i don't know why she's wearing it to tell you the truth because she's not playing she's not a captain but um she wore it yeah she wore it and let me see the post that i saw was um actions speak louder than words no protest in history ever needed permission massive respect to alex scott for doing the one love armband despite being national teams oh despite despite multiple national teams u-turns it weren't u-turns they were the game mattered didn't it they want to make sure that even though i said it earlier that it's a yellow card you know what i'm saying how about you don't foul for the rest of the game or the rest of the tournament <laughs> but they they didn't want to do it because it would put excuse me it would um put their players in jeopardy you know what i'm saying all it takes is a little uh and then for someone to hold their face and you off and then that's a free game ban and that could be your country's done you know what i'm saying it all depends on who it is with england the captain is is kane in it they ain't got no other striker like that you know what i'm saying they ain't got no other striker like that yeah they got rashford and stuff but they're, they're man they are coming off the bench kane is their guy in it he's like alan shearer he's their guy you know what i'm saying i don't even know if he's ever been booked like that you don't get booked like that i think he's been maybe yellow but he's never been sent off as far as i know as far as i know but back to this yeah so i put this on my instagram you know what i'm saying i put this on my arsenal instagram and whew, someone hit back someone hit back i got a few comments on like people saying ah oh, bloody hypocrite and this and that and that and that but um the main the main one oh, i don't know if i can find it now but someone went in oh uh, there we go someone went in basically called it hypocrisy yeah the media including alex scott only criticized other middle eastern countries how come they never criticized britain that's what i said John said that as well. Straight, first thing John said when they tried to throw Qatar under the bus is Boris Johnson said da 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 da. You get me? Know yourself before you talk about others. You get me? Britain has caused havoc in the Middle East through wars and occupation. You know what I'm saying? Um, what else is there? When we talk about human rights, the United States is hosting the next World Cup. Look how many countries they have invaded. It's ridiculous. It's ridiculous to point your finger at anyone is ridiculous you know what i'm saying to put your finger when you know that the country that you come from and that you represent has done fuckeries you get me not even no joke fuckeries almost uh i would say obviously i'm black but i would say slavery was like one of the biggest crimes if not the biggest crime against humanity ever you know what i'm saying yes i don't want to say as in number one and then what the holocaust is number two no it would be Slavery there, Holocaust there, you know what I'm saying? Boom, 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 boom. Everything on the same level. It's all fuckery when it's against humans. You know what I'm saying? When you're just locking up a bunch of humans just because the way they look, what they believe, or just because you don't like them, what they're dressed like. All, that is fucked up. That is fucked up. You get me? The only closest I can get to that is, is football. Yeah, at club level, tribal. I'm a gooner going on the sofa i'm a gooner right i don't like tottenham hotspur not the area 
because I'm from North London. I was born in mid North Middlesex. You understand me? I am from North London, literally. It's not the area, the club. I don't like the club. They're a rival to my club. Simple. You know what I mean? And man, wear that shirt. Me and you ain't cool, blood. You know what I mean? But that's only banter. Football time. You understand? I ain't gonna walk up to no stranger wearing a Tottenham shirt, calling him an idiot. I don't know him. Man might just turn around and shoot me in my face. You know what I mean? When the little babies are walking around in their Tottenham shirts, I'm not gonna say nothing. That's dumb. That, that's stupid. You are not thinking. You understand me? We can have a little banter. If I'm wearing my Arsenal stuff, I can be like, get me. Ah, and have a little fun, little banter, because it's not real. It's not real. We've made this. It's just not real. Once we take off our shirt, you don't know who we support. You don't know nothing. You know what I'm saying? Even though, you know what I mean? Arsenal, mostly black. You know what I mean? Not saying nothing. Not saying nothing. You know what I mean? But it is what it is. You just draw to who you draw to. You know what I mean? But I personally think if the players were really about it, they would have followed um, Miss Alex Scott. But I don't think it mattered to her. I don't think she got a fine. I don't think she got in trouble. You know what I'm saying? She did do it and they did say it was banned, but maybe it was only banned for the players to do it because ain't no one really seeing Alex until it's live on TV and that is TV broadcasted to the British. That's not getting broadcast to the people of Qatar or any Middle Eastern country. They're not watching that. You know what I'm saying? They probably will see the picture of her. It's going to get shared on social media and stuff. But other than that, they didn't see her. The only people that saw her were the people in Britain. You know what I'm saying? Some people were saying she's begging, you know what I'm saying? I don't even know if Miss Alex Scott is gay or not. You know what I'm saying? She's she's at the Prides, she's at the Pride marches, you know what I'm saying? She says she's down, you know what I'm saying? It's a well-known thing that a lot of the women in women football, WSL, you can, I don't know for the women football as in the world over, but I know in the WSL, there is a lot of lesbians. It's not a, it's not a thing, there's a lot of them. You know what I'm saying? It seems to be like the norm. That's just the norm. You get me? That they'll put, that there's more gay women in the WSL than there are straight. That just seems to be that the way that they're promoting it. Because you don't, I don't see other than the woman who plays for Aston Villa, and her man is Douglas, who plays for Aston Villa. Also, you don't really see, you don't really see it. Like you don't really see them promoting that. You get me? The man them. On the man side, like, you see baby boy Saka's got a new girl. You see all the other wags, you know what I'm saying? You see that in the man's game. You don't see them promoting the gay thing because they're trying to make it a big thing. Like, oh, players coming out. Oh, no one care. You being gay don't do nothing on the field. Doesn't do anything. Doesn't give you extra powers. Don't take your powers away as a human. Like, what? It's not no biggie. It's not no biggie. It's not. Because look at the women. They're gay and proud. You get me? Big up Mido Ma and Lisa Evans, they're gay and proud. I'm sure um, Mido and DVD used to be a couple if they're not still a couple. Like, it's known. And ain't no one saying shit. Like, it's not a thing. Why? Why? It's not a thing. It's only a thing in a country where they have different beliefs and different law structures. You cannot go over there and say what you want to say. It don't work like that. It's a difference between... Because they, they will try and make a connection between... Ah, uh, like racism, and then, is it genderism? I don't even know, it's not genderism. What is it? It's not, is it sexualityism? Is that even a thing? I oh, don't know, but they try and say, ah, oh, it's the same thing. How would you like it? It's not the same thing, because if you go like over to America, it's not the same thing, because there are laws that say, I'm allowed to go do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Before the Jim Crows, and it was, yo, no, 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 was it? No dogs, no 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 Irish, no blacks, no blacks, no Irish, or whatever the list is. Like that was law. You understand me? That was law. Except the constitution said otherwise. So you lot making laws that goes against the fabric of the land. So this this is illegal. You know what I mean? This is illegal. Whereas over there, it's not illegal. And it's making shit up because they don't like you. It's their faith. You know what I'm saying? Their their law is off their faith. And that comes from a lot of countries. Isn't Dubai the same? You know what I'm saying? There's levels. You can't be walking around smacking ass. You get me with your titties out, drinking in the square. You can't do that. They have places that they try. And like John said, they will relax their laws in certain areas or in certain buildings on a certain level of a building. You know what I mean? Like you lot can drink on level 22 to 25. 
Don't come drinking down in the lobby. You're not taking the piss out of our country. What do you want? What do you want? You get me? As always, I have to say this. I've got nothing but love for Miss Alex Scott. Nothing but love and lust. You get me? Nothing. Support her. You see the book right there? I support her. You get me? But with this here, I step back. Because you could have got yourself in trouble. Look at the w, WNBA player that they're fucking over. Real talk. Fucking over. I don't know how much reach he has, but from what has been, been um, posted, it's been a spliff. The woman's getting eight to nine years for a spliff, blood. You get me? Then you got man like Fredro Starr from, from Onyx saying, you talking about every time I go, I go out to Russia, we be bunning. They grow it out there. They have their own weed. What are you talking about? But we all know it's a politics game. It's a politics game. But the, the bottom line is, is you don't go places that you're unsure of the law. You get me? See me. I'm not smoking nowhere. Unless I know for a fact it's written down that it's cool. None of this. Ah, uh, yeah, they don't. They don't say nothing. Fuck that, blood. Are you mad? Cause it will be me. It will be me in a foreign jail looking like help, and ain't no one coming to help. You understand me? They, the Russians want some dude. I heard one stand-up comedian say they want the. They want to swap. Like, all right, we'll give you your girl. You give us, give us our boy. Do you know who their boy is? <laughs> Some man that can make a bomb out of this blood. It is, you get me? You, they have him locked up, locked up in a cage. He's not allowed to talk to nobody. He could only make a bomb talking to someone. Yo, get some salad tape, get some toothpaste. You know what I'm saying? Hold it up to the sun so can, boom. You get me? You don't know, so he can't talk to no one. Now you can't swap that with with that. Like, we can't give them back juice to hurt the world so you can be free. That's fucked up. I know it's fucked up. Get me? Because I'd be crying, shitting myself. Literally in a Russian jail talking about, why are you not coming to get me? Like, this is insane. This is insane. But, stick to the point at hand. Miss Alex Scott, I do not back you doing this. I would have backed a player taking it taking heat you know what i'm saying he would have to there would have been interviews and everything you would have had to take some heat he would have got a he would have got booked possibly booked again during the game not for the same reason obviously booked again for you know fouling or doing some madness in the game and then bam free game is it free game ban two game ban i don't know how it works in the world cup maybe the rules have changed differently to premier league rules but um i would have respected that better if you're gonna do it do it you understand me? But don't do it to beg friend. And I, I'm sorry, Alex, but that looked a little beg friend. There's, your, it was no impact. It didn't change nothing. You know what I'm saying? It didn't change nothing. Like John Barnes said, taking a knee ain't changed no one's mind in England. Ain't changed no one's mind. You know what I mean? Ain't changed nothing. But it's a symbol. That's all. It's a symbol to remember that at least the players playing are about that life. At least... You know what I'm saying? At least, even though there's a couple of them that still don't. Zaha, that still don't. Disrespectful. Even the women, all the women, one knee. Refs, everyone down. Appreciate you. You know what I'm saying? If it was a ban on it, because remember that they've left it for an option. You don't have to do it anymore. It's an option. And look, they still, some of them still do it. Not everyone, but some of them still do it. And it's a beautiful thing. But you can't, you can't, Wear that, because it's just a one-off tournament. You're going to wear that, and what? Nothing's going to change. They're definitely not going to change their faith because you wore an armband. So they're definitely not going to change no law because you wore an armband. Football. <sighs> it's so annoying. It's so fucking annoying. Um, Simon Jordan on TalkSport, he said, there was, there, was a, there was something where a charity wanted everyone to wear... A di is rather wear a black kit or a different kit or a pink kit or something. They wanted everyone to do something for a charity. But this is this is the problem with that is every charity should get a shout. Then there's no football because we'll be doing this all day long. You know what I'm saying? You can't say, ah, oh, yeah, for the homeless at Christmas, we want you guys to wear t-shirts. What? 
What? What are you talking about? That's not the only thing. There's millions of charities. What about cancer? And you can break cancer down. Colon cancer, breast cancer, throat cancer, like brain tumors, like who don't deserve help? Who don't deserve help? Homeless. You get me? Bad women, bad men. You get me? Orphans. Who don't? Who don't deserve help? Tell me. People with disabilities, people with no limbs, people who can't read right, can't breathe right. Like, there's too many. Let's not even forget about dogs and cats because you know how you lot stay. You lot will go ham for that before you help a human. There is too many. You get me? Football has to stay out of it. It brings everyone together. So you don't have to do that because everyone is here. You should see that with your own self. Everyone is here. Look, everyone's enjoying this thing. You get me? It's not about what you look like. It's not about what you can do. We enjoying this. That's what football does. It brings you together just like music. Everyone show up to listen to this one artist and then you rock him. You don't even realise you bucking up with people that you probably don't even like during the day. But right here, right now, you vibing. The music's got you. Everyone is good. That's why Woodstock was such a beautiful thing, the first one. <laughs> I watched documentaries of, I think it was the 99 one. No, 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 no. Certain generations, you can't give that blessing to because they don't know how to act. You understand me? The first Woodstock, love. All right, STDs and stuff may have come out of that a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> but in general, beautiful thing. You get me? Every one love, blood. You get me, Bob Marley? One love. Fuck this hate thing. It don't make no sense. Fuck this divide thing. It don't make no sense. You come here, we about this. We together. You put the armband on, you saying you're not part of this now because everyone else don't have an armband on. So what are you doing? You get me? Why was there no Black Lives Matter armband? What, are we done? Are we all good now? You get me? Alex is mixed race. What about mixed race problems? You're not standing up for that? You get me? You're not standing up for that? What's going on? You get me? Secretly, silently, they're taking bounty out of stuff. What's that about, blood? I know, <laughs> I know it's a bad term to call someone a bounty, but that's normally because it was telling someone who was black, black mum, black dad, you're white inside, disrespectful. And even, you can't even say that to a mixed race person because they're not white inside, they're just mixed, white and black, mixed. There's no picking it, it's mixed. You know what I mean? There's no picking it. But I just wanted to throw the bounty in there because I actually like bounty and I don't appreciate them taking it out. And I actually bought a bag of celebrities the other day, celebrations the other day and bounty is still in it. I don't know why you're taking it out, you know what I mean? I can take out Milky Way. Anyhow, I digress. But I just wanted to say that. You now I'm saying, big up John Barnes, big up Miss Alex Scott. Everyone's got their own view. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. On this situation here, I'm leaning towards John Barnes. Not leaning. I think he's right. You know what I'm saying? Respect the laws of the country that you're going to. It's not hard. It's not hard. You know what I'm saying? If Spain had a, you can't walk around topless rule for men, then you can't walk around topless. Don't talk about what you can do at home, then stay at home then. You get me? Or go to another country where they allow it. It's not hard. It's not hard. You get me? It's not hard. You can't come to England, walk around Soho, bunning weed. All right. All right. We all know people who smoke, well, they do what they do, but legally, you get me? This London is not Amsterdam. You understand? Levels to the game. Same as, even though, <laughs> I was going to say, same as Soho, got their massage parlors, we know it's prostitution, you know what I'm saying? But you can't be as open and as blessed as um, Bangkok, you know what I mean? It's on road, normal! Come like market, come like you're walking in Dawson, a man trying to sell you vegetables, they're selling you fucking pom pom and dick, bro. you know what I mean? The lady boys are out there. I ain't never been, but you know, research and shit, you know what I mean? But, that's the end of that, people. Let me know what you think down below. Are you on John's side? Are you on Alex's side? Or you got a whole third other, whole other third opinion you wanna you wanna throw out here? Put it in the comments. Let's talk about it because the World Cup ain't over yet. You know and I'm saying. And another thing, the guy who was in charge of the Qatar World Cup, he was like, "Boy, seems like there's an agenda against us because I've got the evidence of the people outside. You get me? The foreigners." The foreigners, not the Qatar people that are probably black and be like, no, everything's good, everything's sweet. No, go ask the foreigners. Go and ask the people while go on, how they're getting treated. That's all that is. Ask the people. Stop coming up with your own thing. 
bringing up your own fears and your own agenda. Stop that. You know what I mean? But I'm out of there, people. Stay good, stay blessed. I beg you, please don't forget. What's up, people? Make sure you like and subscribe to the channel. Real women love gooners. Go on. all day you know that it won't change so stay tuned in cuz the party's never over get it hype this is Guna on the sofa